hi there! You might be wondering why we are walking on Earth instead of floating away into space. Look around you! Do things levitate? Well, obviously, the answer is no. Now, if I drop this pen, what makes it fall down to the ground? What keeps objects, including you and the pen, from floating away on Earth? Join me as I delve into and explore the power of gravity! What is gravity? Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects towards each other. Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall. Now, think of gravity as an invisible superglue that holds your massive world together. You can't see it, but it's always there. So, it all started in 1666 when English physicist Isaac Newton was sitting under a tree when an apple fell on his head. Oops! Well, there's actually no evidence that the fruit landed on his head. But his observation caused him to ponder, why do things always fall straight to the ground? This idea helped him discover his universal law of gravitation. Newton's law states that two bodies in space pull on each other with a force proportional to their masses and the distance between them. This law also means that the more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational force. As you can see, things like this apple will fall directly to the ground because of the gravitational force. But not just that, because Newton knew that the force that caused the apple's acceleration must be dependent upon the mass of the apple. And since the force that caused the apple's downward acceleration also causes the Earth's upward acceleration, that force must also depend upon the mass of the Earth. Newton's law also proved that the force that causes an apple to fall towards the ground is the same force that causes the planets to orbit the sun. Speaking of planets, you might want to be ready because we are about to see the planets of the solar system. But what exactly do these planets have to do with universal gravitation? Well, as we know, distance also affects the gravity between two objects. So that means the planets near the sun also orbit faster than the planets farther from the sun. One example is the planet Mercury and the planet Neptune. We can see here that Mercury orbits at 47.87 km per second while Neptune orbits at 5.43 km per second. That means Mercury orbits faster than Neptune because it is nearer to the Sun, while Neptune is farther from the Sun. I believe you now understand gravity and the universal law of gravitation. Well, I think it's time for...